G'day, guys. My name's Josh. You can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero, where we're back to continue our playthrough, and this time, we're going to be focusing a bit more on building our base. So far, we've only got a little nubbin of a base out here, just a little thumb uh, to kind of like work with. My light is dead. Oh, the aurora's nice and pretty up in the sky, though. I don't have a light left on my uh, my sea glide, because I used all the battery for other endeavors. Uh, can I just like, can I go, no, unload the battery, let's put it out of my skin into you, they swap them over like that. Want to get the light going. Boom. There we go. Okay. So just got a little like little thumbnail going. Not much at all to speak of, but I can start from there and build something out a little bit more. But all of my materials are back at my survival sphere back over there. Plus my aquarium full of very horny fish and a couple of penguins too. So I'm going to go back, rescue what I can, bring it all out here and get a building. And yes, if you're looking at that very first screen, you're like, hey, all of your cabinets are kind of on their tits and not quite lined up. I know. I just can't really be bothered going around and fix them because it's really hard to get stuff in place like in a line. There's no snap mechanic to the building, which is kind of annoying, but you just do what you got to do to get the job done. So let's jump back in Pudge, our newly christened Pudge, and head back home, go get the things we need, bring it all back, and keep on building our new home. So here's the real question, right? Like I'm back here and our good friend Lighty is still just hanging out here. Do I try and take him to the new base with us? I mean, it's a long way away. I might have to give it a red hot crack. It's gonna be a long swim carrying his stupid poly ass all the way out there. Cause I can't like kind of put him in a podge. I have to take him the whole way myself, which is just a whole lot of work. You know, it's a whole lot of effort for one little stick. I'm just gonna find a new one and claim it's the same podge. Maybe it's just like, you know, uh, not, not podge, it claims the same Lighty. Maybe Lighty is just my friend that lights up the world as opposed to that particular stick with a, like a, a iridescent light on the top of it. Uh, anything Welcome more in here? Captain. No. Got some more stuff in there. I don't have a lot of stuff left over back at this base. I want to take as much with me as I can. I suppose before I leave, I should probably add some more life into our little uh, our little pen over here. Something else to get their balls on. Uh, use planter. Can I go like this? No. How do I? Do I just like do I just gotta drop you? Similar to hatch from these. Drop. Are you gonna are you gonna hatch or do I have to like I I don't know. I can't remember how you use the eggs. Uh, interesting. I, I don't I don't know. Okay, drop. All right, you're just gonna have to you're just gonna have to sit your little shiny self down on the floor. All right. Well, I don't know. Maybe you maybe you'll spawn at some point. I'm not sure. I've got plenty of time to think about it though. But I'm not gonna be back here for a while. If I come back and there's a miniature sea monkey in there, then I'll know I've done a good job. He's got lots of friends to play with too, so it's not like he's gonna be lonely in there. Take all of this with me. I've got all those flares for no reason. I might just take them with me and throw them down that big hole back at my new base because there's a big uh, like kind of chasm underneath me. I wouldn't mind knowing what's at the bottom of it. All right, everything is empty. I guess it's time to leave this all behind. You guys look after that sea monkey. I mean, I know that dick bags. Maybe I have a tame one. Maybe I can train the sea monkey to go out and get me goods. You know, like, like oh mate, go find me some diamond or some lithium or whatever. Some copper. I don't care. Go out and fetch for me and he'll bring me back stuff. Like a pet tamed sea monkey would be a lovely addition. I don't think that's going to be how it works, but a boy can dream. Oh, all right. Well, it's been fun, base. So it's been a fun survival sphere. For the moment, I'm take that grab trap with me because, I mean, look, I'm going to free you all from your prisons. Take you. Go off. Swim. Be free. Be happy. Go live the best of your lives. And remember that you could have been lunch, but instead, you're going to be lunch for something else. Because let's be honest, nature ain't keeping you alive. Something big and scary and teethy is going to come across and eat you in a heartbeat. All right. We've filled up all three lockers in here with stuff. And my, uh, my pudge is still very pudgy and bloated with all the stuff he's got. What was that thing? Was that just like a piece of lava rock or something? This is what I was talking about. There's this giant chasm next to me down to the deep, dark, glowy scariness. Let's get this. Uh, can I, do I have to like light you and then throw you? I don't know how that works. Four. Okay, like that. And then drop. Interesting. I, how far down does it go? Or does it just kind of float there? Uh, excuse me. Yours must be being affected by gravity. Can you go down a bit faster, please? Okay, you know what? You go down. I'll stay up here. I don't know what purpose that serves, but okay, whatever. Got rid of it all the same. Let's get our uh, our habitat that's already there. What am I missing down here? My scanner. Let's grab my scanner back. It's empty on battery, which is kind of a shame. Need to build myself a battery charger, actually. I had one back at the old base. Should have broken it down and brought the materials, but whatever. We're here now. Let's keep on building and see what else we can do. All right, well, that's kind of inconvenient. I can't get the like the tube to place properly against the side of it there. It can either go on like the corner over here, like that, but it can't actually attach... Well, why not? Is it, I, I, I reserved certain segments for, for hatches and certain segments for pipes. 
Oh, that's really annoying. Uh, that's really, that's really a kick in the teeth game. Um, right. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what I'm going to do now then. That's really throwing a bone. Uh, right. I could go out that way. That's, that's real, that's real frustrating. Okay. Here's the plan. How much uh, space do I actually have in my inventory right now? I've got a lot. That's the wrong one. So I'm going to break down my hatch and move it to a different designated spot. Because apparently I can't do that on that one. And build you out uh, from that spot out to there. Can I? No, why is it all be so difficult? I've just had to put it out to there. It was kind of ridiculous with that giant long leg on it, but whatever, it's good enough. So I can put, hopefully, the moon pool on the other side of that, but I can't build a moon pool yet because I just don't have that option. Ooh. A scanner would actually be really helpful here because I'm right above, like, a, a really deep chasm. I could use the little drones you get on that to fly down and see what's going on down below. Interesting. Okay, well, maybe even like uh, one of these ones. Uh, that's, that's the wrong one. Can I like spin you around? So, yeah, like that. That's probably a good way to do it because I can have like uh, the moon pool out this way and maybe like my uh, my observatory, my bedroom or something out this side. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll deal with that later though. Right now, I'm just going to make sure I have the rest of this base kind of built. And I kind of want to go another multi purpose room up the top. Do I want like double the height of this thing or is that just being silly? What I am going to need, though, is I need to make sure this is all nice and reinforced, or else we're going to have some issues. Lithium and titanium. I think this is the wall that has the um, the, the storage compartments on it. So let's go inside. Just double check that. Also grab some lithium so that I can actually build it. That is the right one, but can I not build on it once I, uh, once I reinforce it? Is that what's going on? Like, I can't reinforce it now because it's got the plates on it? I don't know. Let's have a quick look on the outside. I've got all the materials for it now. Reinforcements won't let me do it. That is a crying shame. All right, well, let's just go like this. Let's reinforce those ones. I don't know where the reinforcements are, just as long as you have them so that you can actually, you know, not have your base implode and crack a leak and suddenly flood. 12.8 plus seven to hull strength. Okay, it says it up behind my face cam, by the way. You may not be able to see it, but that's all right. It's not super important. The only time that really matters is when you're adding new stuff. Well, that's interesting. There's a reinforcement on this, and I can definitely build the storage on there. So I might just move all the storage over to this part. Let's finish you off, because then it gives me the option to automatically redo it. Um, grab some titanium out of there. Thank you very much. And just go get like, all the lockers over this side, because I can't build much out of here anyway, because it's uh, right up against, abutted against a cliff. So not a massive loss if I like, take up all the space over here. Can I squeeze four into here? I reckon I might be able to squeeze four. Let's go for it. Let's go for broke. Oh, look at that. What an efficient use of space all the way across. There we go. We've added some lockers in. That They're still all wonky like a broken set of teeth, but that's all right. We've got it's also not centered in the middle. God, I wish there was a snap feature in this. While I'm moving everything around, it's probably a smart idea to have a quick little gander and see if I can find a good place to put my grab trap. This is the thing. It's like food is so sparse out here. That's why you need the grab trap so you can actually find what you need. Um, there's not really anything. There's like nothing out here. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to build an aquarium and get my fishy friends to fuck and make me some more food. Oh, we just stop. We just, I mean, no wonder there's no food out of here. Big gobber guts over there. Is it all you fat fuck? Leave some donuts for the plebs like me. I want to come in here and just like the toilet paper and the bread and everything else that's actually needed for my survival. You've come in and hoarded it all. You big silly sausage. What I should do while I remember is make myself a battery charger because that's going to come in handy uh, sooner rather than later. Let's put you right next to the door so it's always there before I leave. Wiring kit, copper wire, titanium. Well, I have most of that stuff. Let's take you. Uh, co no, that's gold. In fact, I do need you for the wiring kit, I think. And uh, copper. There we go. Some copper. I don't oh, I don't even have a bloody fabricator in here. I've got one in the truck, so that's okay. Uh, let's go make ourselves a wiring kit. Although it's silver for wiring kits, isn't it? Come on, Josh. You've done this a million times. Try and actually remember something for more than two seconds, you stupid goldfish bastard. There we go. That's all done. Let's get rid of you. And quicker just bang in that battery that's dead. You go in there. I would like to have like a cycle of batteries, but I feel like I feel like I've made extra batteries before and then they're like despawn. So I'm hesitant to invest in a whole like plethora of batteries. I'm going to lose them at some point. Doesn't seem like a, pretty, a particularly great idea for me. What else should I have in here? I've got, a, I do need a fabricator actually. Let's get one of you going just next to it. Just there. That'll be fine. Get you rocking and rolling. What do you need? Copper ore and quartz. I've got that in the truck out here, I think. Did I bring everything in from the truck? I don't think I did. I definitely did not. Diamond, no silver. Don't need all that stuff. What's in you? Don't need all of that. God damn. I have so much of like the rare materials. I can't find the basic stuff. 
I think this is the last storage uh, that's got some stuff in it in the truck. So now we're good. I want to do what I want to do though is once again because it's now night time, I want to spin you around and use the lights so I can actually see what's happening out here. Let's get you posted up like that. If there was a way for me to like just build spotlights that worked on this, I would definitely do that. But I mean, other than bringing Lighty across to the old base, that's not really going to happen right now. Uh, okay, what I want to do though before I actually go back inside, can I go observatory? Oh. Uh, I pressed that too quickly. Why is the... Wait, is that door on the wrong side? Is that the door? It is the door. No, don't go that way. I want you to go the right way. Can I Can I spin you? I can't rotate... I, I can't rotate... I cannot rotate the observatory. That kind of makes my whole plan kind of defunct. If I can't get the entryway to actually be where I need it to be, how am I supposed to get in there if the door doesn't connect to the bloody base? Well, if it's going to be difficult, then there's only really one solution I can think of, and that is to put a T-piece on the end up here. Get, I mean, this could rotate. Don't know why I had so much issue with the last one. Uh, go like that. There we go. I don't have any titanium on me. I'm going to put a T-piece there, and then maybe build just like another room off it so I can put my aquarium in there, because after all, I keep like your food supply near your bed is a great idea. A little block, basically like a bar fridge next to your bedroom. Although hopefully it doesn't charge me for it. Get all of you. However, putting like another like multi room out there will be pretty big and might actually like kind of like ruin. Well, I might ruin the entry and exit point, but I'm not quite sure about that just yet. Get you like that. Now, now will you let me put the observatory the right way around? All those legs are connected nicely. The yeah, there we go. The hatch is connected to the hatch. I need enameled glass. I don't know how you make it in this one. Do we need to go like punch a bloody uh, a toothy torpedo in the face to get it? And that would glass. Diamond lead glass. Well, I have all that stuff inside. Give me two seconds. I'll be right back with some. That's uh, that's really awkward. Somehow through all of this, I don't have any lead. I've got lithium and magnetite. I've got all the rare stuff. I don't have any lead. Oh, would you shut up? For goodness sake. I've got some on me somewhere. Uh, is it in here? No, I was just looking at that one. I did, I did bring some with me, I thought, maybe, if and or but. Uh, that's more lithium. All right, apparently I didn't bring any liquids with me. That was a little bit silly. Hopefully there's some butterfish nearby or else I'm going to be cooked more than all the peepers back home. What have we got? We've got a peeper, another peeper, uh, a boomerang, and a bladder fish. There we go. That's why the grab trap is so important. Because any fish that swims by, it holds on to you for later. I know I should probably save these guys for a later date, but I'm not going to. I'm going to cook them up and eat them now. Come here. Then. Yep, there we go. Grab you. So they're like the burning knife cooks them as soon as you stab, which is kind of lovely. Come here. Come here. Uh, no, no. Come here. There we go. Yeah, I've got you. Uh, a boomerang, which usually isn't too good for you, but I'll eat you anyway. There's no more fishes up here for old mate to grab. That's right. More will come. That's all right. Uh, boomerang, what are you going to do? Uh, plus three on food. Plus three H2O. Om nom nom. Om nom nom. And om nom nom. All right. We're looking reasonable again. What are we going to do down here? We need to make that enamel glass. We need to find some lead. How the hell am I going to find some lead, though? This is so difficult. Why is it so hard? Before I go looking for some uh, can't destruct roof batteries first. Oh, for goodness sake. It's attached to the bloody thing. I was going to say, before I go looking for some lead, I'm going to move the hatch over to the end of this corridor here. Because, I mean, why not? This is going to be my bedroom there. Okay? I like, like you know, making bases that seem like they're livable. So to have, like, kind of, you know, the common area over here, and then I might build another little arm um, off, uh, off this way and put another room over there for my aquarium. A little bit more spread out than I kind of wanted, but that should be all right. Plus, having the moon pool over there will only be a good thing. But to, but to do all that, I need to go find some lead. Where did I find lead? Was it in Twisty Bridges? I don't particularly remember. Uh, let's just go have a quick little look anyway. Which way to the bridges? I think it was this way. Let's just press X and head that way. Who knows what we might find? Hopefully something good. Probably something bad. Here we go. Found the bridges and found a toothy torpedo as well. Ooh, can I... I mean, no, let's not do that, Josh. You're carrying a bunch of trailers. You can't squeeze through little gaps anymore. You are too big to fit in that hole. That is the first time I've ever said that. Uh, let's go further down. Let's just... I mean, it's just hard to see lead, you know? It's hard to see it. And plus, I don't have the depth module. So the further down I go, the worse it gets. I mean, this would be a cool place to build a base as well. But I had to build it, like, tactically near the island. There's someone right on my asshole. Can you not do that, please, buddy? Got some quartz. Got some more outcrops. Does lead come in the outcrops? I don't really remember. Let's just pull up here and see what's around. Yeah, building a base in, in the Twisty Bridges would have been pretty cool because, like, it looks nice and stuff. Like, looking at it, that's, uh, like, outside of your observatory would have been pretty fun. But I don't know. I felt like I had to build it over there. If not, I don't know. I'll break it all down. Hey, look. Chance of lead. And some lead. All right. Already a success. 
really not having much luck on the old lead front. I'm just cruising around, breaking everything I see, getting lots of gold. I have to go back to the back to Pudge and drop off some stuff. What are you? Are you Galena? No, you're Argentite. I need Galena. Uh, any, any around? It looks the same as the Argentite though, so it's kind of hard to tell. Where am I gonna find? I don't want to go too far away though. Oh, sorry, there's oxygen plants all over the gaff though, so it should be all right. Uh, is that you there? No, it looks like Argentite. It is Argentite. I'm not gonna bother with that anymore. More Argentite. I got more silver. I know what to do with silver and gold. I have more titanium, but it's like all that. Just, I mean, isn't there a way to turn gold into lead? Isn't that a thing you can definitely do? I thought I read that somewhere at some point. Well, like that's what I'm about to come up to. I'm about to go full like metallurgy on this shit and turn valuable shit into more valuable shit, just not to anyone else other than me. I've accidentally stumbled into the path back to the uh, back to the little sanctuary place, which I, I mean, I couldn't find it when I was looking for it. Now I found it by accident. There's usually some good stuff in here though. Is it all just argentite though? It might just all be Argentine. Maybe I'm too deep for uh, like for what I need. Maybe I'm too deep for lead. Maybe the pressure down here is turning all my lead into gold. And that's, I don't think that's how it works, but I mean, maybe that's what I'm experiencing. But there's like normal stuff down here too. It's either really good stuff or really basic stuff. There's, I need like the medium stuff. It's like upgrading Lucky Luna to tier five. Sometimes I just want something normal. Let's jump back in Pudge and go, maybe not like the, I committed deep twisty bridges, which is probably my problem. Let's go to the normal twisty bridges. Let's just head on up, head on up a little bit more up here, trying to avoid the torpedoes who are doing donuts up above me. Keep an eye out for any, uh, any kind of bluey looking outcrops. It isn't Argentite, I hope. Up through here. Yeah, no, nah, hopefully, ow, oh, damn it. Hopefully there's something for me up here. Come on, squeeze your big booty through. I know having a big caboose is an issue. Can't buy jeans that fit. Can't go through gaps that fit, excuse me. Ow, you big cock smoker. That is not what I needed right now. I'm a man on the edge. I'm about to fucking wig out. And you're coming out here and sinking your teeth in my windshield. Would you fuck off, you big flippy bastard. I will turn you into a torpedo up your own fucking asshole. All right, I'm hoping that this will be a little bit more promising. I do need to get out there and quickly go and grab... Why did I go straight out? Normally you go into like the cabin or maybe it's on two different angles that I can't walk around inside it. That would make some sense. Let's get my repair tool and just undo some of the damage that bloody bastard did a second ago. Why didn't that work? Here, you go there. There you go. Four, repair you up. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. I'm just out here minding my own business and you're cruising through causing me issues. What a selfish prick. Right, there we go. You're done. I do need to find myself a couple of bladder fish. There we go, because I'm a little bit thirsty, a little bit parched, which is interesting given I live in a world that is completely ocean. You'd think I'd just like kind of absorb some fluids via osmosis after being in the water for so long, but apparently not. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, is that something there? Is that something there? No, it's just limestone. So giving me limestone. It's either limestone or like, uh, or top end shit. Where's the normal stuff? There we go. Galena. We finally found one and we got some lead for it too. All right. That's promising. I found at least one, which is more than I was finding before. So maybe I might find some more around here if I get really lucky. Uh, they're all limestones. And it's just hard to see from a distance, you know? Like, my eyes aren't the best at the best of times. Clue. Oh, that sun there. That dark, that dark blue. No, it's Argentine! Oh, it's such a cock tease. You get all the way there, and you pull down the pants, and then suddenly it's a Ken doll. Oh, you gave me nothing! All right, so that's Galena there. It's more of like a, a, like a, a gray, like a coal black kind of thing, rather than the blue. But it's hard to tell that from a distance. Um, nothing else really around. All right, can I go into the back of the truck? Can I like can I just like I sneak up and slide in the rear? Yes, I can. All right, I don't know why I didn't let me in here before, but that's all right. Uh, get you. Need to make myself some fluids before I die. Oh, okay. How much lead do I have now? Only like maybe four or five pieces. I've been more than five, maybe three or four. Yep, get all that done because I'm very very thirsty. Uh, we're good. Guess we are. Okay, how many do I have? One. I got two. I got two. Do I have any more on me, actually? Do I leave some in here? No, nope, none in there. I can't walk up the truck. No, nope, none in there. Please tell me I have more than two. After all this, please tell me I have more than fucking two. You're gagging. You're gagging. I got three. Oh, whoop de fucking do Oh, my God. Why is it so hard to find any lead? Oh, there's one. There's one. I'm starting to recognize the color and also the shape. Is it more like um, prismatic, if that's a word? It's a bit more squared off. Than the um the Argentite outcrops. It's a bit more, a bit more, a bit more chunky, which suits me. Like that's one there. That looks nice. Got another one for me. Just titanium. Fuck off, titanium. I'll take you anyway. I will need you for building. I think I'm gonna have to call it and just go back home and keep on building because I've been swimming around here for a very long time, and I'm just 
not getting the like the plethora of resources I was really hoping for. There's no like, oh, piss off, piss off. In fact, can I can I grab you with this? Are you? No, I can't. Oh, oh, good dodge, good dodge. Okay, get out of there. It was bold there, bitches off me to try and scoop you up. Man, it turns out it almost got me killed. Let's just get out of here. I say as I swim away from my thing, there's a nice little, like, little hole here for me to swim in. So anything good for me in here? Just limestone and some quartz. I'll take the quartz because you always need it at some points. Oh, how dismal. How dismal this has been. Oh, there's another one there. I found... Oh, there's a couple out here. I found a good little area. Damn it, just titanium with a couple of little lead deposits just on this cliff bank over here. There's another one there. What have you got for me? More titanium because, of course, you get me excited about showing me the right outcrops and you rip it away from me straight away. Um, doesn't look like we have much else here, though. Although this little cliff here seems to be the, the place to be if you want that Galena goodness. Uh, no, nah, we're done. All right, so right on the outcrop, or oh, right on the border between the Twisty Bridges and, well, that place over there. I'm running out of oxygen. I'll quickly go grab some over there. I got so distracted by going out for loot, I uh, almost got myself killed uh, again because I am the loot fiend. We were talking about that before. Get up, get out, through the thing. Oh, don't get stuck on that. Oh, God, I can hear the snarling. I can hear the teeth clattering behind my butthole. It's a, it's a shame, though. I can't get inside because I'm clenched that hard. Oh god, that got ruined. Jesus Christ, buddy. You you, uh, you just need to take your time out there a little bit. You don't need to just like eviscerate it. Just chomp it down. You'll still get the nutrients. All right, that's enough for today. In we go. Back into Pudge. Let's grab there. Jump back on this. Let's head on back to our base, which fortunately has the beacon already on top of it. So press X. Ah, and then we can just enjoy the ride. We can just take some time, go and make ourselves a cup of tea or crack a frothy. In fact, don't crack a frothy because he's driving, Josh. Although, am I really driving at this point? I can see my base out in the distance over there because it lights up. Am I really in charge here? This is like the, like, you know, the underwater version of autopilot. If I started drinking now, would that be deemed drink driving or just drink passenger ring? All right, we are here. We are home. Let's just park this up just out the front here. I don't need to worry about getting actually up to the door. Uh, do I have the stuff on me actually to make myself the thing now? Uh, glass. I do. I can make glass there. Although I think I need uh, I need diamonds to make the enamel glass, don't I? Okay, well, let's go. Do I have it? Can I take all you with me? No, because I'm completely stacked. All right, never mind then. I'll come back and grab the rest of you later then. Let's make the enamel glass and make the observatory. Then we can make a bed. Welcome God, it just takes... Captain. Yes, thank you for your welcome. It takes so long to bloody get uh, around and make the base. You know, I didn't think this would take so long. It had so many ingredients on me. But it turns out, like, the finding lead was the hardest part. Here we go. Let's get that sorted out. What am I... I mean, I need two enamel glasses. Oh, that just got expensive. That's very expensive. Just because of the lead, not because of the diamonds. Uh, I need another quartz. I'll take you. Uh, I'll take you. I'll put them in there, actually. Uh, another diamond. Have I got enough lead to do it? I should do. Oh, man. I thought it was just the one, but turns out it's more. Probably wouldn't have built it. I uh, know. I, I was always going to build it, actually. The observatory is always the best place to make your bed because you get like that whole like uh, kind of nice view all around the, uh, the ocean. You'd be silly to turn it down. There we go, duck over around here, and let's get you finished and done. Observatory, finish you off. Boom, look at that. I mean, how could you not love that as somewhere to sleep? You can look out, you can see the truck parked up next to the dock I'll eventually build over there. Yeah, that's got to be spick and span and perfect. It's going to break down this hatch while I'm at it and move it across to the other one. Yep, there we go. I can't see Dick out here. It's very, very dark. It's, I mean, that's the only reason that I, I would have liked to have built down in the uh, in the deep, twisty bridges because it's all lit up by like the bioluminescence, but uh, but a good, good, good kind of view at all times of the day. Whereas, I mean, it would have been hard to power it. There's no um, like thermal vents or anything down there, and it's very deep, so no sunlight. So it would have been difficult to power it. I don't know. It would have been kind of cool, I think, at the end of the day. Can I put a, uh, a window there? Yes, I can. That's going to be lovely. Oh, this place is going to be sick. This is going to be sick! Now, this is very important that I get this right. I need to get this in the middle and sort of line it up with some of the grids on the ground. Uh, that looks... Oh, it was really close to being right. That looks in the middle there. There we go. I need to get some more titanium. We've got the fiber mesh in there, though, already. What else do I need? I need some glass as well. Uh, I don't have any more quartz on me, though, because I got rid of that. Oh, I do need to. Before I forget, though, put my uh, interior mo no, interior modules. Where is it? My battery... No, it's a fabricator. My battery charger back up on the wall. Let's just put you 
there. Yep, that'll do. Bang, there we go. Okay, the base is really starting to come together. Yes, it's probably taking a bit longer than I wanted it to, but that's okay, though. You know, as long as we get there in the end, that's all that really matters to me. Let's, uh, who's got the worst? Oh, you've got, like, no battery power on you. Let's change over for the full one and put the, the empty one back into there. You can get charged up. There we go. And let's go sort out our bed. Always going to make it so the base actually looks like a good living. You know, yes, I could build just one little room and never have anything nice, but that wouldn't be fun at all. Not where you can have something like this and look out around any surroundings and enjoy the view while you're taking a nap. Although, having a sleep here this far underwater with monsters and stuff outside your window... I don't think you'd get a very, like, well-resting sleep, would you? Well, that's even more horrifying. I put a window in there, and that just looks out at apparently nothing with nothing but monsters out there. If that doesn't get your thalassophobia going, uh, that's not, nothing will. All right, well, how am I going to find... Where am I going to find um, the bloody uh, moon pool uh, schematic? Like, I've got the dock over there waiting for it. I just need to actually put it in. I do need to put another one of these in, though. Let's put you there. I'm going to need some lithium to fix that up. I need to make sure this base is nice and secure. Don't want any of those big toothy fuckers out there coming up and ruining my day. Uh, here, where's my lithium? Not in there. There we go. Grab some of that. Oh, yeah. There's, there's just so much that goes into base building. It's hard to fit it all into one episode. They, they've already been going, like, longer than I probably should have for this. Most because of the, the lead adventures. That just looks so cool. I mean, some people hate that, and I get that, but I look at that, and I think that's freaking awesome. I wouldn't go swimming in it, but I like looking at it. So now I'm just going around. This is why I had to reinforce the, the walls before, because every time I put a window in, it takes away one from my structural integrity. But I just, I just like having windows, you know. Every every angle out of this place is a cool view. That's the best thing about Subnautica. It's so unique and it looks so freaking nice that you can't not, you know. Can I get rid of the, the HUD, actually? I can. I can get all the way down. Like, just looking at that, how could you not love it, you know? I mean, yes, it makes some people out there a bit uneasy. But it's just, it's just so beautiful. It's just so freaking beautiful. Like, it's a good game by itself, but just the environment it puts you into just gets, like, almost gives me goosebumps with how freaking awesome it is. I don't think I need to put a window on this side. I think it looks out of the cliff. Yeah, okay, that's not a particularly great view, so I'll take that one back again. Thank you. That one looks out there. That's, oh, that's just so good. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's what I was talking about. I might even put just, like, the reinforcements on this side then. Get all the reinforcements done where it doesn't matter. You know, if I'm going to put it somewhere, put it somewhere I'm not going to spoil the view. It's like, when I play, like, Minecraft or Space Engineers or something like that, something where you destroy the terrain to get resources and stuff, I usually try and leave the top layer, like, uh, you know, perfect and dig down underneath it and get the stuff underneath. Because, like, I just hate the idea of ruining the environment. I mean, both uh, clearly because environmentalism matters to me. You know, recycling, you know, making sure that we're not ruining the one part that we can actually live on but like also just the fact that you know uh it looks better in its natural state i don't want to ruin it and just put like one big like massive divot there i want it to look as good as it did when i first showed up it's going to move the fabricator off over to that side as well because this is going to be like another door off to the aquarium so to make sure i have that one free uh here we go fabricator plus i mean i can't do anything else with this area over here so may as well make it into something a little bit better uh and actually functional by putting like some of the tools and stuff that i need on there as well all the way up there we go is there anything else in there that i actually need i could build an aquarium i mean it's a, a not this same aquarium as i gonna have before i have a bigger one so that's kind of i mean a little bit redundant uh what else is in here modification station i mean all that did for me was make my survival or my my bernie knife not particularly anything fun what about a what about a jukebox why don't we put a jukebox in here somewhere that might be a nice little touch make it a little bit a little bit more livable you know when everything's out there to eat ya, you can listen to some sweet tunes and cut some sweet shapes in the middle of your new dance floor so that's going to be the path out to the um uh the aquarium in fact i can probably do that you know let's not finish this episode until we have all our fishy friends and penguin friends all out here with me together uh let's go like this multi-purpose room stick you on the end of that yep perfect takes a lot of titanium but i have a lot that's fine all the way across please god you uh take a long time to build in fact oh god you go down quite a long way can i put one underneath actually i know i can put one on the top no, I can't put one underneath. Can I put one up there? Yes, I can. I might even just, you know, given that these guys are living in containment and not a whole lot of room and they keep fucking and making more of them so they don't have as much room to move around as they once did, I feel like I might need to make it a little bit bigger than I do right now. Let's go like that. Do I have any more materials left in here or do I empty it all out? I can't quite remember. Just got to double check to make sure though. Don't leave anything behind. I knew there was some stuff left in here. Any titanium? One titanium? I think I need some more than that though. 
I might have to go... Oh, no, there's some more there. Never mind. I've got plenty. Here we go. Alien containment. I need lots of glass, but that's all right. I've got plenty of quartz. I think I might have turned it all into glass to make the windows. Oh, damn it. Has my uh, my grab trap got any uh, any butterfish up there? I hope it does because I need them. Uh, have a quick little look up here. What have you got for me? you got a paper. You've got nothing. You've got absolutely got one butterfish. Fucking hooray, buddy. That's a little bit disappointing, dude, if I'm going to be completely honest. I'll take all of you. Have I not picked up a bloody boomerang before? I would have thought it would be the first fish I picked up. I would have got a core cat and a boomerang and a spear and a didgeridoo and call myself Stryan. But no, it turns out I hadn't picked one up yet. All right, well, I'm going to burn you all into your respective nutrients. It's a long way back home to get all my stuff, but it's got to be worth it. I could actually just break down the aquarium I got back there because after all, I'm going to need to build one here anyway. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. As soon as I build one, I can go get the resources from the other one. I need lots of quartz. Yep, definitely do not have much quartz. Uh, of course, uh, much quartz. And also don't have much storage space left over. So I'm going to leave all of you in there. Just like that. Yep, all of that. I'm going to make myself uh, a couple of bits of glass and go put them into the uh, the aquarium. Then they go looking for quartz again. I feel like I'm looking for quartz all the time. I did pick up a whole bunch once upon a time, but apparently that's all run out now. That's all right. I mean, I might even just go back uh, to my original base. Like, I know... I know there's usually some quartz around there. At least I should find some on the way. I have to go back anyway to get all my friends. So I may as well do that now and then come back and drop everyone off all at the same time. Oh, actually, you know what? And on the way, I can see a lot of quartz and stuff around here as well. I was going to say, I'm going to go along the bottom of the ocean rather than up the top like I normally do. Because there's going to be... Oh, that was just a lime someone. I thought that was definitely going to be uh, some lead. But turns out, no, the game still... Oh, hello, buddy. It still doesn't want to give me any lead, which is kind of a shame. Uh, anything else around before I jump back in and keep on going? Nah, it's all looking pretty barren. Looking pretty barren like my love life. Let's jump back in there. Although, did I just see another one on that wall there? Did I like, swim straight past something? No? It was all in my imagination? No, I definitely did. Come on, Josh. You went out there to grab that stupid thing and grab the wrong one. Up we go. What have you got for me? A chance of lead. Some lead. Good. Nice. Gary. Jesus Christ. Look at all the toothy torpedoes. There's so... Oh, sorry, people. There's so many out here. No, I mean, oh my god, that was really loud. Turns out going, oh my god, they really fucked me up too. They're ruining my sea truck. Okay, that's enough. That's enough of this nonsense. We're going back to the surface where it's safe, away from the torpedoes. They are, uh, they messed me up. Ow, that was, uh, ow, ow, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Don't get stuck now. There's lots of things down here that want to eat me. Putting yourself on a skewer and calling yourself a shish kebab is not a particularly good idea if you want to actually make it back and save all our friends. Oh my god, I almost lost my sea truck. I would have been really, really, really mad about that. Let's uh, just park up here. Make sure no one's following me. Check the reversing camera. No one's there. Now, I should be able to just repair this from the inside, I think. Can I? Are you repairing? Yes, you are. There you go. Okay, good. There's also some quartz around here, so not for nothing. Oh, that got dicey there for a second. Well, this is apparently where all the Galena is, just on the other side of the uh, twisty bridge. I did say that, though. Like, the, the cliff on the outskirts is where everything seemed to be. I got a fair few out of there just then. In fact, I need some fluids as well. Where did that bladderfish go? I saw him. There he is. I'm slurking off into the deep. Grab you. Grab your little friend here as well. I could turn my pets back home into him. That would just be silly. Are you a tiny little one or can I... Okay, apparently you work the same as an adult. You were definitely smaller than the others. Probably gonna get like half a bottle of fish out of... Uh, a bottle of fish. A bottle of water out of you. That's right. I'm not picky. I'm just thirsty. Here we go. Just reverse up just like normal. Pull up out the front. All right, let's get inside. Good all our friends and bring them back to their new home. Much bigger home well, than they've got now. Captain. Thank you, Habitat. How you doing? I mean, I'm inside you, so I hope you're doing pretty well. If I'm in here and you're having a bad time... Oh, my little friend's born. Can I take you with me? Or are you here forever now? I don't know. I'll try and pick him up first. Because if he's here forever, you have to leave him here with some of his friends. Uh, God, I can't see anything in here. Where are you? Where, can I... Uh, penguin. Set, pick pick up sea monkey. Pick, yep, pick. No, I can't pick him up. All right. Well, I'm going to have to leave some of these guys behind. So sea monkey has some friends. Plus, they'll repopulate themselves anyway. What? Are, how did I just open that? I didn't want to do that at all. Use planner. Penguin's dead on the floor. Did I pick him up or not? I did pick him up. Oh, okay. We're rocking and rolling now. Everything here is fine. Okay, let's break all this down. Do I have enough room to take everything back with me, though? I do not. Let's go install you guys in a box. It's just temporary, okay? It's like taking a goldfish home from the shops in a little plastic bag. You can't shake it. You can't do anything. It's only got a couple of hours of oxygen before it's going to cark it. Just put them in here. We'll pick them all up later. There we go. Break it down. Titanium and all my glass, please. Thank you very much. 
All right, we're going to get some double story goodness going back at home. We're going to have so much room to swim around and play and procreate and give me lots of food and water and fun. I mean, what more could you want? I've got entertainment, food, and drink all in one little habitat. That's all you could ever really ask for. It's a long way home, but that's all right. We're going to make it just fine. Just press X. Or you can even, you can even already see the windows. You know what? I'm going to aim for my base and just go straight there. Don't worry about the toothy torpedoes. Don't worry about nothing. We're making a beeline for home. It would be nice. In fact, I'm going to try it. Can I get up and walk away while this keeps on driving? No, I have to stay at the pilot seat. Well, that's kind of annoying. If I've got the autopilot feature, let me keep it on and keep running and go back into the back of the, the, the truck and, like, you know, do some crafting and do that kind of stuff. Let me take advantage of the fact that the truck drives itself. It's on my responsibility not to run into anything. I should probably have to come back and make sure that I, ha I don't crash into stuff. And that's on me. But, like... You know, if you're going to have something cool like that and enable me to move around, then let me actually move around, you know? Let me actually go and craft some stuff while you're driving through the ocean. There we go. We've got one, and it's already... Is that already completed up to the top? I can't quite tell. I need to make myself a ladder. There we go. Ladder, two titaniums. I got that. Let's just put you just there so I can get up and down and have a look and make sure everything's hunky-dory in here. Climb ladder up to the top. No, I can walk over the top of it, jump up and down and bonk on the glass. That's what I want to do at all. Let's go here. Another alien containment. Just like that. I do like the idea that you can have that kind of in the floor, though. Because that would look really bloody cool. All the titanium. Yep. No, I need one more titanium. And that's all because I had to make that stupid ladder. All right, we'll finish that off. We'll go and get our friends. And then we are all done. And we have all our friends in our new house. What more could you ever ask for? That's a cool looking base. I like it quite a lot. I've got all of my fishy friends on me. Yes, I do. They're all still alive. Don't know how, but apparently they are. Been out of water for a long time. I'm in a really big plastic bag. Okay, here you go, everyone. Everyone inside. Everyone happy. Look at all the space you've got to move around in now. And here we go. Uh, don't eat them by accident. Josh, right click to drop. Drop, drop, drop. And then all of these. Do not click, press left click. Drop all of you guys as well. There you go. Look at that. You can all now be happy and free until I get hungry or thirsty and come and eat you all. I mean, the, the, I don't know what you're in here for. You're just like creeping around like the praying mantis that you are, but you're brightly colored and kind of cool, so I'm not too upset about it. And all my little baby penguins have all, or penguins, have all grown up. Look at them. They used to be little, tiny, and adorable. Now they're a little bit bigger. Don't want a plushy, big-sized penguin. I want a plushy, little-sized penguin. There you go, guys. With that, with all my friends in a nice bigger apartment, I can now say that I've done what I set out to do today. Look out the window and just admire all of my hardware. What's the best view? I feel like that might be the best view, actually. If I turn off all the hardened stuff just looking out there, that is possibly the coolest look of the game so far. So I'm going to have to leave this episode here and come back and explore further and hopefully find some new stuff and my moon pool uh, blueprint to put onto my base in another episode. Because this episode episode is done so thank you guys for watching most of all thank you to the patrons on patreon who made this episode possible if you like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter if i don't talk to you there first i'll see you in the next episode have a good one